guys Lou here welcome back to Acorn Hill I'm in the backyard mowing for late fall into winter uh, the grass is about four and a half five inches tall uh, we had some rains that came through uh, about five days ago and uh, with everything that I'm putting in the ground fertilizer and humic acid and uh, nitrogen it's really boomed and allowed the grass to to grow and grow well so I'm excited to uh, do my cut today and uh, I'm gonna set up the camera and show you exactly what I do um, there are spots here um, on the grass that's uh, bleached out and this is because of the tenacity I like that one um, I put some tenacity that will um, kill all the way down to root level um, some of the uh, weeds that have uh, persisted throughout the years that I did not care for um, this lawn. For those of you who just stumbled into my channel, this lawn has been covered by 90% weed. Um, really did not know how to care for it. Um, not that I did not have uh, the ability to learn how to care for it, but you know, it's just one of those things that when you live in a subdivision, you rely on uh, lawn people to do it for you. Well, this year, I took matters in my own hands and I was able to uh, really care for this from scratch and um, started the whole thing, started the whole yard from scratch. So I'm gonna set up my camera somewhere, maybe by the uh, pergola, uh, so you can see uh, what I will be doing. Today, I plan on still using my rotary uh, reel mower. Uh, I'm not using the a regular mower yet because the ground is soft uh, there's moisture still in this ground because five days of rain there's a lot of subterranean water um, in, in, down about six inches deep into this clay soil um, but what I'm gonna do hopefully um, in uh, mid winter or uh, early spring is to provide and build uh, the proper infrastructure for um, French drains uh, that will drain the entire backyard and the side of the property so that we could get some um, a good amount of water taken out from uh, from where we live uh, the cold snap happened a couple of days ago and that's what's left of our uh, purple heart um, it's now really desiccated and the roots are alive uh, with this plant but now uh, the foliage, the purple foliage on top is dead. Um, I plan on putting more more compost uh, through this bed. I did this bed um, last year, um, a year ago today, and um, that's really done well. Um, under the pergola, we get a good uh, amount of shade this time of the year. I have our rosemary, I'm sorry, I have our lavender growing very well. Um, this is not even a year old. Um, I will be trimming up that part and that top of, of the lavender soon because as you can tell what I did here it's now nicely trimmed and every um, bit of lavender is now shaped um, into a little ball. I have all these black uh, bags uh, that are waiting for my compost bin when I build it and that's a lot of composting material that I could use. A lot of green and I've got my brown material up there um, so it's semi um, tidy but half the time it's not as tidy uh, in the fall because this is the time when I assess and clean uh, up whatever growth happened during the growing season this pergola contains um, our climbing roses which now have uh, grown far and long and well um, as you can tell from the top there's there's a lot of good growth going on on top of the pergola um, the canes have grown long enough that I had to do a return and now it's going all the way out and back so you can cover the remaining part the other part and the other end of the pergola if you happen to chance upon the channel, welcome. Uh, my name is Louie and this is Acorn Hill. Acorn Hill is all about our property and our experiences in, in doing homesteading. And so there's a lot of DIY planting, 
gardening, entertaining, gathering that we talk about uh, on the channel. Uh, we're on the elevated garden at the moment and, and I'm walking on the elevated garden path which is a mess. What a mess this thing is at the moment. We have a lot of leaves because on this side of the property I have this one big oak that is shedding leaves so um, one of these days even on the weekend I'll probably do I will blow all these leaves and put them out. This would be brown material um, for the compost that I'm preparing to build uh, in the winter. So we bag them up and we prepare them for whenever the time comes that I need to put them on my compost bin. So it's just a general run, um, general overview of what's going on in the fall into early winter here on the property. Um, a lot of cleanup. Uh, a lot of thinking ahead as to where things need to go, what needs to be put where, uh, and we'll see. You know, it's it's fun this time of the year. Everything's dying back, and I see the good that we've done on several parts of the garden. We are on the east side of the garden. Uh, one of our features along the wall, turquoise blue pot that used to house... Um, big alocasias that I had to remove the other day because of the cold snap and uh, just in time we were able to take them out and so now uh, they're out in storage or inside in storage I should say but that's this is what we will do today we will tackle this today on how to um, you know mow the lawn again so we'll see you in a bit as I mentioned earlier our turf started about two months ago I grew it from scratch and it's my first fall to really care and really maintain this lawn. And during this time I intend on cutting it at the right height. I use my real mower still. This is a young tender blade that needs to be cut and the soil is still soft. Using the real mower allows for an even cut and allows for a lighter device to go over the turf. Cutting my grass between 2.5 inches to 3 inches allows for even and thicker growth. The other thing that I keep in mind is making sure I remove the leaves regularly. Autumn color may look nice and can be fun to play in, but not good for the grass. The obvious, it blocks the light and traps moisture is not good for the grass growth. Here I'm using my trusty groundskeeper rake, a specialty rake that's used not only for raking but also for detaching. And there you have it, just two simple tricks on how I maintain this lawn at this time. One is to cut it often and regularly at a good 2.5 to 3 inch height and the other is to rake some leaves, anything that accumulates right on top of the canopy of the turf. I'm no lawn or turf expert and I'm sure many of you out there who've been doing your lawns have a lot more tricks up your sleeves that I'm glad to learn because you've been sharing them with me on social media, on Instagram and on Facebook and even on my channel. But for now, this experience has been fun and very satisfying, uh, learning that now I can grow my own lawn from scratch. Now before I forget, I want to share with you that the next thing I do after I cut my grass is I use all-purpose, uh, just a well-balanced lawn fertilizer for quicker absorption. What I use is liquid fertilizer in a hose end sprayer. I conveniently sprayed the entire backyard, the entire property with it. Well, I hope you like this video today. It's a short one, but I wanted to show you what the lawn is looking like in the fall. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. From the backyard, this is Louie from Acorn Hill, and we'll see you back soon. Bye-bye.